I thought I'd share with you my evening stretching routine. It's something I aim to do every night, but it doesn't happen every night. Um, I do it right before bed because it's a really good way to release tension, but also you're increasing flexibility. And the thing with flexibility, it needs to be done little and often. It's really important, right? So I do have a timer here. I'm just going to use it as a rough guide um, because I want kind of 30 seconds in each stretch. So I'm just going to put this down here, put it on. Okay, so this is start, hands behind the head, big deep breath. And then you're just gonna slowly curl all the way down, feel the stretch in the hamstrings. Just let yourself hang for a second. Just twist from side to side. Okay, you can bend your legs if you need to, it's fine. A few more seconds, big deep breaths. Then you're going to slowly walk down into downward facing dog. Just push your head through your shoulders. Push your chest through, feel that stretch. Come into a plank, each one. Big, deep breaths. So remember, I'm not a yoga instructor, so don't judge me for doing this incorrectly, but it's all about feeling the stretch, is the thing for me. As long as you're feeling it in the right place, it doesn't really matter. Good, then you're gonna come into pigeon. So basically you're gonna bring your left knee to your left hand and your left foot to your right hand, like so. Okay, don't force it. it might be a bit of pressure on the knee. Um, but you're gonna put your back knee as far back as possible and then you're just gonna sit into the stretch. And I'm fitting this in my glute right now. Um, try not to lean all your weight on your arms. You wanna lean the weight down through the muscle you're trying to stretch. <sighs> Big deep breaths. My left side is a lot worse than my right side, you'll see in a second. <sighs> Take a few more deep breaths, a few more seconds. Five, four, move it around. Three, two, run, run, one. Then we're gonna switch sides. So your right knee is at your right hand and your right foot to your left hand, exactly the opposite of what you did before. Push that back knee back, feel the stretch in the glute again. Big, deep breaths. So ideally your phone is gonna be off right now, no distractions, just focusing on your body, being mindful, it's a really good way to switch off before bed. Five, four, three, two, one. From here, back into a strong plank position, you're then gonna bring your left foot to your left hand and then allow the hips to drop into this deep lunge stretch. Just move it around, big, deep breaths. Good, a few more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides, strong plank position. Other side. Drop those hips. If any of these positions feel really uncomfortable, honestly, the more that you do them, the easier they get. And ideally, this should be a fairly easy position to get into. Good. Right, I'm just going to have a sit down. I'm going to shake the arms off. I'm going to have a sit down on your bum. I'm going to go stretch the hamstrings now. So you're going to bring your left foot, your left heel right in towards your bum as close as possible. Then you're just going to reach down towards your toes and pull yourself down. Okay, don't worry if you're not going down as low as me. Even if you're just holding on here, do try and pull yourself down. You may feel a stretch in the lower back. That's absolutely fine. Just breathe. Every exhale, relax deeper into the stretch. You can twist from side to side. Play around with it. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back up. Shake it off. Switch sides. Exactly the same thing. Twist it around. Every exhale, try and pull yourself down lower. Remember, you can grab hold of your shin if you need to. But honestly, if you're finding it really difficult, just do a little bit every day, it makes a huge difference. I haven't always been really flexible, I've just been consistent with my flexibility training. God, I'm really feeling that on the lower back as well, which is a really good, nice deep stretch. Five, four, three, two, 
one. Good. Shake it off. Then we're going to do pancake stretch, which I'm still working on. So have your feet as wide as possible. Grab hold of whatever you can grab hold of and pull yourself down. Big, deep breaths. Gradually increase the stretch on every exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, slowly come out of that position. Shake it off. Just gonna do some stretching for the upper body now. It's a reverse plank, it's a really good stretch. If you're sitting at a desk all day, this is the ideal stretch to do multiple times a day. Okay, so legs bent, arms locked out, fingers pointing backwards. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then raise your hips up with your hamstrings and your glutes, like so. Feel the stretch, slowly come back down. If you want to feel it even more, what you can do, you can hold and then rock forwards, increasing the stretch and back. But if it feels really intense, just holding here, then just do that. Let's tap, we'll do three more. Last one. Just gonna hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Good, slowly stand up, take a few deep breaths, make sure you keep your phone off because ideally you're doing this right for before bed and try and continue this every night this week and see how your body adapts to it.